Hello, everyone. How is everybody doing? How are you? Hello here from Cairo. Please mention to me in the chat. Hello on Instagram. Hello on Facebook. And hello on LinkedIn. And I'm super excited to be with you today. It's a very special life for me because it has been really thought over for a long time. And it's about you today. It's for you, whoever is watching me, whether you're a mom, a dad, like if it's for you, if you're not, you have no kids as well. Well, it's very important because it's three daily tips that you can easily follow for your self-care. Please type for me in the chat. Where are you watching me from? Hello. Hi. Thank you for joining me on Instagram here. Hello on Facebook, guys. Hello. On, hello. So um, I have been like uh, for the past few days posting about who would love to have my daily three habits for self-care. So you have a calm, productive day, organized day. And I got actually many requests from people, but yesterday I didn't send it yet for this reason. Because yesterday I have added two extra bonus to the guide, which is I'm giving it free for whoever is attending live with me and whoever requested um, organizers for uh, daily activity. Because in the guide, one of the, I'm going to talk to you about it today. You don't need to take any, any notes because you're going to get it all written down in detail. So just relax. Grab your cup of coffee, grab your cup of tea, and just like relax and let's talk and ask me your questions. Sure, I will answer your questions live for sure. Hello, hello, hello. Glad to be, glad to have you. I, I can't imagine you, you made it. <laughs> love you, girl. So, well, the three daily tips that I would love to share with you today. Um, I understand any habit to start is not easy because you don't, you are not used to it. And what I'm sharing with you today is for you to feel good so you can help your loved ones. It's not the other way around. Because I met many parents, honestly, over the past period while I was in Egypt. And many of them were like, um, help me uh, take my kids and fix them. Take my husband and fix them. It's not going to happen. Like, I want you personally to feel good. And I'm sharing it with you hands-on tools today. Please just like relax and listen. And uh, this will help you to feel good because when you relax, you will help your kids, you will help your spouse, you will help your co-workers when you are coming from a place like I'm not coming stressed. I don't have to do this. I have lots of things to do. Like this crazy chaotic day when it starts, I understand, guys, how it feels like when you have many responsibilities. I get it. But I'm going to share with you what's going to help you. So number one. Maybe you have heard that before, but I don't know, like I'm going to say, I'm going to say it, whether you like it or not, I'm going to tell you why and how it's impacting you and impacting your loved ones. Number one, stay away from your mobile the first hour when you wake up. For some of you, this may be really challenging. Let's say stay away from your mobile the first 30 minutes. Start with 30 minutes, but listen to me, guys. I have in the guide for you with tools and like uh, proven methods and professors and, and studies telling you why it's really dangerous to start your day touching your mobile. People who start their day touching their mobile for two reasons. One of the things is that you will be on other responding and reacting to other people agendas. So you have not decided what you want to do for your day. You're just responding to them. You are on their to-do list. You're not doing your own list. I'm going to say this again. You are on their to-do list. You're not, doing, you're not doing your own list. Okay? This is very important. Second, when you start your mobile, like studies have shown that people who touch their mobile the first thing in the morning, it increases the rate of depression for men and women. Okay? It increases the rate of depression and anxiety. Okay, I'm not saying anything from my head, like it's all science-based and I gave it all to you in the guide. So you're going to read it and you're going to see how this is happening and which university and how they support their argument. So to start in the, your day in a peace of mind, I want you to do something. Just stay away from it. Some people told me I cannot leave my mobile. I count on it 100% in everything. Well, if you are my age and I'm not very young and if you are even like a little bit younger than me, the mobile was not there. We grew up without the mobile and we survived, by the way. So don't tell me I cannot live without it. I understand you use it now for your business. You use it now for your errands. It's the mom's group for their kids and uh, group chats. I, I know, I know. But stay away from this your first hour, guys. Own it. 
you will reap the rewards over 30 days if you can do that to develop the habit. You're not going to die. I grew up where there was a TV with only three channels. It was black and white. Uh, we had limited time for like certain shows for kids, certain shows for TV, uh, movies, Hollywood movies. Everything was like it wasn't wide open as it is right now. And now we have like, sorry, excuse me, Joey's in the background. So he may be barking every now and then. So another thing, like for our kids, when I was a mom myself, like I'm a mom, right? When our kids were kids and baby and like uh, we were pushing them in the stroller, you know, we threw for them, gave them the mobile so that they stay quiet, so that we can do our shopping, so that we can talk to our friends, so that we can do whatever. And now it backfired on all of us because now we have kids who are reached the level of addiction. They cannot leave the mobile of their hands. They cannot leave the device. And it's not only for kids, even for some adults. Okay. And it may need even professional help to take them down to be moderate users. So we did this in the beginning. And then we are saying like they are secluded. They live in their world. Society normalized us to have the mobile. And if you don't have a, a device for your kid, then you are criticized and you're not living in the age. I'm not, now we are in an age that we cannot prohibit it. We cannot do that. Neither me nor you nor the kids. But I'm talking about moderation, taking control back of your day, because I am here today to share with you how to stay calm during your day and to take charge and live organized. Like I have added for you, organized. I'm super excited, guys, about the guys, whoever is going to get it. The screen, what you see like on, um, not on Instagram, you cannot see that, on LinkedIn and on Facebook, the, the scrolling down um, line that you see, this is the link for you to download the guide if you want it because it's really really good it's full of full uh whatever you don't need to take notes everything is there for you ready ready and done okay so just think about it okay if you stay away from it the first half an hour what can i do then like if you're like i, I cannot like and i wake up and i touch it and i use it i use it for my alarm and my watch and whatever you can put it on flight mode and it wakes you up and you don't touch it 30 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour, however however long you can, okay? And you substitute that because when we, when we take away a habit, if we don't substitute it because there is a law called law of vacuum, meaning that if I have a habit and if I don't replace it with a good one, then I'm going to replace it with another bad one. So if I'm, for example, smoking and I want to quit smoking and I don't replace it with exercising, with going maybe for 12-step program to quit smoking, uh, with um, reading, joining like a new hobby, then I'm, I may replace it because this is vacuum. Something is empty. Like when you take away the couch, if I want to get a new couch, I have to remove the old one to have a place for the new one, right? Make sense to you guys? Make sense, right? So what happens now is that like, okay, what can I replace it with? Well, I suggest for you, and this is step number two on your guide, is to replace your mobile with a little gratitude journal next to your uh, commode, next to your uh, lamp, whatever. Because why, guys, I'm saying this? Because gratitude, many people talked about gratitude, but we don't know how to do it, and we do it the wrong way. So I'm going to share with you today how to do it the right way so you can see results in your life and in the life of your loved ones. Even people who get depressed, they are they recommend for them the gratitude journal. Why? Because depression means in simple terms, I'm not a psychiatrist, but I'm telling you in simple terms, it's like focusing on the negative or the past, the old past, which was hurtful for you. And you live there and you play mental movies over and over and over <laughs> and over in your mind. And then it affects how you feel and it affects simultaneously, definitely by law, your actions. Okay. So you don't, you like, you feel drained, you feel drought, like, sorry, like I have to hang up on somebody calling you. So this is what I am telling you about right now. So, okay, how can I do gratitude the right way, Rasha? I say gratitude is not like saying I'm grateful for my hat. I'm grateful for my, uh, I don't, some people even told me I don't have anything to be grateful for. My life is a total mess. And I get it, guys, I'm not criticizing you or judging you. I understand. But if you think about it, like 
whenever you are writing gratitude, I recommend 10 items to be grateful for, and I'll break it down for you. If you can't do 10, you can start with three, you can start with four, but start, just start. So you say like, okay, what, how, how to do gratitude the right way? The secret is feeling it. Meaning, some people say, I don't feel like I say, for example, I'm grateful for, for example, my health. I'm grateful for my eyelashes, for example. But they don't feel it. So how do we get the feeling? How do we get the feeling? Like I see here somebody. Hi, Rasha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. So you get the feeling by bringing to your mind, because you're always, if you're depressed, if you're not happy, you're bringing to your mind. You know how to visualize, guys, and you know how to remember to your in your mind stuff that upsets you. So I want you to bring to your mind someone that you really, really love and that you really care about. It could be your son. It could be your pet, like Joey here sitting with us. It could be um, your cup of coffee, your morning cup of coffee. It could be, um, I don't know, like somebody you helped and it really it changed their life. Like what you told them changed their life, saved them from hurting themselves. Like something you really are proud of and it makes you feel good when you remember it. Just get this feeling and we all can do that god created us, th us this way and i cannot explain it how it happens but we are capable of doing this like i can think about something that makes me happy and i can change how i feel so when you are what first get the feeling so this is how i'm telling you i'm breaking it down for you today you get the feeling first and then you write your gratitude so I like, I remember, for example, like my son hugging me and telling mom, I love you so much. Or my daughter like saying, mom, I did that. And thank you so much for like, it, it over. Like I, I flood myself with this feeling. And then I start writing down my gratitude and gratitude. I said, we're breaking it down. So say I said 10 things, whoever can do the 10 things, because when you get in the habit of doing it, maybe in the beginning, you cannot find except two or three or four items. Fine. Keep do keep going because now by practice and if you persist with doing it consistently then you will, will be writing pages you wouldn't be able to finish if you think about for example your face your eyelashes your eyebrows your nose your teeth you can eat with uh, your ears you can hear with your hair it makes you look better um your chin like your jaw it holds your mouth together like you you wouldn't be able to count the blessings that you have but I want you to do it to do it after you get number one, the feeling. Yes, I love it. Thank you, guys. The feeling, number one. Second, I want you to add to your gratitude things that you are grateful for that did not actually happen yet in your life. Because I have this included in the guide for you, which if you want to download, it's ready for you. But I'm explaining it to you when you get the guide. Oh, I get it now. I'm going to do it with ease. Because this is my intention i want you to move you into action i don't want you just to get another guide and you threw it or just like have a quick look and don't take action on it okay because this is normally what happens guys we don't take action we gather we became information gatherers but we don't take action on it and it's the action that's gonna give you the results okay so we said number one get the feeling number two start writing your gratitude for things you are grateful for in your life right now and then number three start writing gratitude for things that are not in your life now for example many people complain about the relationship with their kids or how their son is not doing x y or z okay my question for you what is your thinking about your son right now or your daughter right now do you see them as not doing what do you want them to do as not having a good relationship with you is this what you're thinking about because this is what's going to happen by law guys there is a law called perpetual transmutation of form. So in to make it easy, whatever you think about will come about. Whatever you think about will come about. Everything starts with the thought and then it, it becomes an, uh, a feeling. You, act, you get a feeling about it and then you take action on it. So this is what you're going to experience. So my question for you, how would you love this relationship to be? And then start to say, I am grateful for having a wonderful relationship with my, with my son, for being his best friend, for being what, whatever. You may tell me this is not true, but I have mentioned as well this in the guide. This is called cheerful expectation because we don't get what we want. We get what we expect. Okay, we don't get what we want, we get what we expect. So part of your gratitude is part for things which are present now in your life and another part for future goals that are not really happening right now in your life, but you want them to happen. So you start 
thanking as if they are already here. Okay, so this is when you read it, you will find it there. Hello, Rasha, I love having you. Thank you. So gratitude. So number one, we said about habit number one, take away, say goodbye to your mobile the first hour in, the, in your day. Second one, replace your mobile with a gratitude journal. Okay. Number three, guys, is very important. And it is hello, sweetheart. And number three is for having an organized day. Okay organized because when you feel when your day is chaotic because listen i'll tell you something so easy that we can all relate to imagine you're watching a football game soccer game and there are two wonderful teams on both sides and they're running all there are lots of activities right but imagine that there are no soccer nets how can we count how can we like there won't be fun there will be lots of activities happening but there is no goal, there is no scoring, so there is no point. You feel tired and exhausted, and at the end, like, what's the result? We don't get results. Okay, I want you to relate with me, because we all watch games, we all have football uh, games we love to support, or soccer play, or, or basketball, whatever it is. So imagine there is no net to score, lots of activities. Most people have lots of activities, daily activities, and they are really tired. They are really tired but they don't get results. And this is the reason why. And I have this included in the guide for you guys and in the guide as well. Whoever is not like um, in my private Facebook group or not on my Facebook page, because I share a lot that will be accountable because accountability is really important for you to continue developing a new habit and for you to succeed. Because if you stay with the same people, same environment, then results are not likely to change quickly and definitely you all can relate to that all right so and as well i have added an extra bonus i'll tell you about it but let's buckle this down so number three guys i want you to before going to bed you get um a small sheet of paper like let's make it a, a copy book like something that you're not gonna throw away and list from three like you may tell me three is too much for me. Like I'm telling you guys and you choose the number. The number is there is no right or wrong number. Whatever is right for you or is good for you, start with it. List from two to six activities for the following day. Again, but these activities are not I'm going to the grocery store. I am going uh, to the hairdresser. These are not these are activities. These are not goal achieving activities. Goal achieving activities, like I suppose, like most of you have goals, something that you want to do, maybe to write your own book, maybe to start uh, a diet, maybe to lead a healthy lifestyle uh, in terms of uh, nutrition and in terms of exercise. Okay, whatever your goal is, maybe to have a better relationship with your son or daughter, okay, or spouse, whatever it is, list two from two to six goal achieving activities okay and write it down the night before you go to bed because when you wake up when you write it why i'm telling you before you go to bed because before bedtime this is when the subconscious is wide open and you will get ideas in the morning by the time you wake up how to achieve them or you and you will wake up you know what to do you're ready to go you're not like thinking and drifting like 99 percent of people are drifting honestly because they are waiting to check their mobile and to respond or react to other people's agendas. They are, you are on their to-do list. It's not your list. Okay, make sense? Right, like, okay, sure, thank you. So write them down. And when you start your day, after you do your gratitude, then you start with activity one for you. And whenever you do it, like, I mean, you have other chores during the day, like, for example, uh, you have to do a meal, you have to uh, call somebody, your chores, not your goal achieving uh, activities. And start with one activity, one activity at a time. Maybe you will start with increasing your intake of water. Maybe you're not a person who forgets to drink water. So you say, like, I'll start with drinking like three cups a day or two cups a day. And you monitor that. That's, that's achievement. That's achievement. Like celebrate your wins, your small wins, and stop chipping and it beating yourself up because this is how you chip your self-esteem and how you stop taking action on your goals. All right? So write it down and finish like activity one, activity two. The following day, if you listed like five of them, 
take the rest. If you listed five, take the and you finished only two. Fantastic. This is fantastic. You're way better than people who have no goals and who haven't even taken one single action. So celebrate yourself. This is huge, guys. Specifically, if you are busy, if you are, for example, a mom and you have a busy life, you have to look after your house, your work, your kids, your meals, your schedules, your training. Like there, there is a lot to look after. I understand, guys, how it's really hectic. Okay, so if you do these two, then take the, the three remaining ones and move them to the following day. Be happy with what you achieved. So in like, I mean, like this is, these are the three daily stress release or not, not stress. I'm not talking about stress. It's like three habits. If you develop guys and if you develop it over the 30 coming days, you will find real results in your life. It doesn't matter how many books you read. It doesn't matter how many audio podcasts you listen to. They are important because they keep you in a positive state of mind. They are really important. But they are not going to move you into action if you are just developed a habit of listening and not taking action. So start now. Before going to bed, list two to five activities you want to do tomorrow, goal-achieving activities. Number two, move away your mobile or just put it on flight mode if you are using it as an alarm. That's it. Number three, go and buy yourself a really, really nice uh, gratitude journal and put it next to your bed and get in the habit of thanking and being grateful for what you have so that it increases and so that and start thanking for the things that do not haven't shown up in your life yet. These three activities, if you persist doing them every single day, and if you find it hard, honestly, to continue every single day, I have added the links, supporting links for you. And an extra bonus for those who are really ready, I have opened my calendar for VIP calls. Whoever wants to talk to me and say, like, Russia, I need more help. I'm not sure what to do. I'm going to share with you now how the uh, this guide looks like. So there we go. I'm going to go here so I can show you guys one second. Okay. So this is how it looks like, three daily tips for self-care and my intention so you can easily care for your loved ones. So all you need is to register. It's free for you guys. And then once you do that, once you sign up, you will receive in your email the guide, okay? And you will be able to use it immediately, effectively. And if you need to talk to me, I encourage you to book your call. And to talk personally one-on-one -on -one for me, because some people are not sure how even to start or have lacked the desire to start. And I am here to help you and tell you what's stopping you. And I was talking to a really, really handsome boy I really love. And uh, he is like younger even than my son, but I really love him so much. And when we were talking, like so he has some habit. I don't want, I don't want to like talk about anything private, but he said, like, I've noticed he cares a lot about what others think of him. And I explained to him that people are not thinking. Honestly, 2% are thinking. 3% think they think and they are not like, but they do not think. And 95% of the population would rather die than think because people are not willing to change their habits. They prefer to blame others. So we came with the idea that like, okay, so what others think of me is none of my business. Because if you are judging someone, this is your own perception. It has nothing to do with the person. And if I'm growing a flower and it's dying and it's not growing, Am I going to blame the flower or I'm going to check the soil? Which one am you going to do, guys? Check the soil, right? So maybe this person is not in the right environment. Maybe he doesn't or she doesn't have the support they need. You love all your kids the most and we are hurting them the most because we are all victims of victims. And I never, ever like to blame them. Well, they did the best they can. But for you now, you can know better and you have the potential and you have the resources to do better and to save them and to help them grow confident leaders, uh, confident champions, confident scientists. You can do that. So uh, this is like, I mean, like, I, so if you really feel like I need help, I need to talk to you, Russia, I have opened my calendar and I have in the guide as well for you, whoever is serious and want to have, see the needle moving in their life, in relationship with their loved ones, just book your call. And we will get on a call together, private, and I will tell you, like, my honest opinion and what can, how I can help and what would be best for you. All right? 
So thank you so much for tuning in today. I love you so much, guys. Thank you for tuning in on Facebook, on Instagram, and on LinkedIn. And if you want the guide, type for me, Russia, the guide, please. I will send you the link. And whoever typed for me, I didn't send it yet because I was adding uh, extra organizers for you. So it's easy. So you can apply it. I don't want you just to read it. I want you to apply it and benefit. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And um, I will talk to you soon because we have lots of things coming up in May. Lots and lots of them. In Ramadan, things were like kind of sleeping here in Egypt because people were like, I don't know, like people do not work that much in Egypt in Ramadan. But uh, we're back on, back on track and I'm here for you all the time. So uh, thank you. Who wants the guide? Tell me. Russia guide, please. And I will send it to you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Have an awesome one. And take care of yourself. And I love you all. And see you soon. Bye-bye.